Welcome to PH Red TV. In today's video, we will tackle about rabies and the importance of post-vaccination. But before we continue, please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon to keep you updated on my future uploads. And so, without much further ado, let's begin with our topic. What is rabies? Rabies is an animal disease that can spread to humans through a bite or scratch of an infected animal like dogs and cats, wherein the animal's saliva comes into direct contact with the victim's fresh skin lesions. According to DOH, rabies can also occur through inhalation of virus-containing spray or through organ transplants, although this is very rare. The Philippines is among the top 10 countries with the highest incidence of rabies in the world, according to the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. The DOH estimates that about 10,000 Filipinos are treated for dog bites, and 200 to 300 die from rabies every year. Once a rabid dog bites a human, the infection will make its way to the person's brain. Symptoms usually appear in one to three months, although they can appear as early as a few days after exposure to the virus. Infected patients will have a fever and feel pain or a tingling sensation in bite area. As the infection makes its way to the brain, there will be inflammation in the spinal cord and brain, with some patients presenting anxiety, hyperactivity, convulsions, delirium, and have a fear of swallowing or drinking liquids. According to IAMIT, in some cases, the muscles become paralyzed followed by a coma. Once these symptoms are seen, death becomes imminent within one to two weeks. When to get a rabies vaccine? Rabies is a vaccine-preventable disease. A rabies vaccine is available for humans given as pre-exposure prophylaxis. Pet owners should also be responsible and give their dogs and cats regular vaccines. Rabies is considered a neglected disease that is 100% fatal, but 100% preventable. Effective and safe medicines have been available for decades to prevent disease in humans and animals. The Philippine Pediatric Society recommends that families with pet dogs should be given the rabies vaccine even before they are bitten. This is called pre-exposure prophylaxis and is especially recommended for children. The Rabies Act of 2007 mandates rabies immunization for children aged 5 to 14 years living in highly endemic areas. It consists of three doses given on days 0, 7, and 21 or 28. If you are a pet owner and have a young child, talk to your child's pediatrician about getting this vaccine. What to do in case of a dog or cat bite? Wash the bitten area immediately with soap and water for 10 minutes. Disinfect with an antiseptic and see a doctor to undergo post-exposure rabies vaccination. Don't hesitate whether or not the bite will lead to rabies. Small or large dog with rabies can infect your child. Rabies vaccines are available in public and private animal bite treatment centers. There are 486 centers in the Philippines, with 32 located in Metro Manila, depending on the vaccine regimen. In 2018, shortage of anti-rabies vaccines for humans was reported around the world. In response, the DOH modified its protocol in vaccinating patients against animal bites. Instead of the standard five shots, patients would only get three shots. If bitten by a dog after the first second doses and the dog didn't die after 14 days, that means you don't have rabies, according to Dr. Domingo of the Animal Bite Treatment Center. Therefore, we will not give the succeeding shots anymore, he assured that the reduced number of shots is still safe. So, if the dog remains alive within 14 days, it means it was not able to transmit rabies to the victim. If you have completed full course of anti-rabies vaccine and get bitten by a dog again, say a year after, you will only need booster shots. This will be given in two doses, one on the day you were bitten, and another one three days later. Rabies from dog or cat scratches. A scratch by an animal's paw can also transmit rabies. It is also true for licks on open wounds and on mucous membranes, such as the eyes, mouth, and genitals. Exposures on the head, face, and neck are especially dangerous, according to the PPS. Follow first aid procedures on treating dog bites and undergo rabies vaccination after. How to behave around dogs. While an anti-rabies vaccine is readily available for humans, it is also vital for parents to teach their young children how to act around dogs. 
especially when they encounter aggressive ones. Avoid approaching, touching, or playing with any dog who is sleeping, eating, chewing on a toy or bone, or caring for puppies. Your child should never approach an unfamiliar dog, especially a stray. If the dog is on a leash with a guardian, permission must always be asked first. Touch an unfamiliar dog on the shoulders or chest, not on the top of the head. Any dog can bite when provoked. So it's also important to assess dog's behavior for any warning signs that it will bite. Edgar Allan Poe died from rabies, which has terrified mankind. Ever since it became obvious that the bite of a rabid animal led to a horrible death. In the 1880s, Louis Pasteur first administered his experimental rabies vaccine to a nine-year-old boy named Joseph Meister, knowing the outcome without a vaccine. Meister's mother insisted Pasteur try his vaccine on her son. Even though Pasteur was hesitant to give an experimental vaccine to a child, Meister fully recovered after receiving multiple doses of the vaccine and later went on to work at the Pasteur Institute in France. learn something new in today's topic. Thank you for stay tuning in, see you again soon here at PHRED TV.